not want to miss this, ladies and gentlemen. It's a hundred percent guarantee that I knock you out. Oh, lights out! The UFC celebrates their 25th anniversary show in Denver, Colorado. A firefight at welterweight serves as the co-main event of this UFC fight night when Donald Cowboy Cerrone locks up with Platinum Mike Perry. Be a standing trade brawl. Is this uh, one you're particularly looking forward to? And I guess, do you believe that Cerrone's the, the biggest name you've faced so far? Yeah, next one's always the best one. This is the next one. This is the biggest fight of my life. I think, uh, I don't know, I saw a picture of Cowboy in his gi, man. I think he's going to come out and try to take me down, make it a boring fight. But there's no way that's going to happen. We're going to put on a hell of a show. He's right about that. That's why I'm just up here having fun, shook his hand, ain't nothing to it. I think Izzy and Derek are funny. You know, we up here talking some shit. And me and Cowboy ain't got to talk shit. It's going to be all smiles. See, people say that Cowboy does his best when he's friendly with you. And if you show it in return, he's going to take you out. Well, I always want the best out of my opponents. And that's why I try to get in their head and get out of them. Come on, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. For, for, for Mike, just to piggyback off of that, uh, are there any mixed emotions since you're fairly new to Greg Jackson's camp, um, you know, establishing one of the stars that's been there for quite some time? No, nah, ain't nothing to it but to do it. This is what we do. We, uh, we went in there and sparred each other for free. And the world and the UFC want to see what happened that day. And we're going to show up and we're going to show them. Um, There's nothing to it. The best thing about Albuquerque and the camp that I got was the elevation and uh, the mitt holding. And, you know, I'm going to go back and forth between my old camp in Florida and my camp in New Mexico and uh, do what I got to do to get the W. One of the most popular fighters in the history of the UFC here is Donald Cowboy Cerrone. He's a madman, but that's Donald. That's what he is. He's a legit wild man. I get to make uh, a couple more records when I step in that octagon. Most fights in UFC history, winning as fighter in UFC, most finishes. There's, there's the, a long list coming to set records, man. So it's cool to be there, but I plan to set that bar so far ahead. These little kids coming up got a we got a lot to, lot to aim for. If I get to go home to Denver and put on a show with Mike Perry, he, uh, there's not going to be any confusion. He's definitely going to meet me in the middle and throw the down. I can't wait. I used to think uh, somewhat of the guy, but I don't really anymore. The tactics and the which he tried to take this fight and come at me is total horse cowardly. Went behind my back and, and, and rallied for the fight. So it's like, wait a minute, you came here, you joined my team, and we trained together, and then you think... You're going to just ask for this, like, beg for this fight? So to me, it kind of, it's kind of like he had higher intentions all along. I'm not sure if his parents taught him any kind of respect when he was a young kid, so I don't, I don't know if he, if he has that in him. And oh, it's it. oh. And it's lights out, Mike Platinum Perry! He hits hard, um, very explosive, very strong, you know, so I have to be aware of that, of course. He doesn't have very much skill. He doesn't have very much intelligence. So he doesn't. He's not like a like a very smart fighter. He's just real stupid, big, dumb Homer Simpson kind of fighter. It's a stupid matchup for him. This is a great matchup for me, man. Big right hand from Cerrone, and that is it. Donald Cowboy Cerrone. The only chance he has is to try and swarm me and hit me with a big shot because his stand up is horrific. His wrestling is terrible, and his jujitsu is even worse. There's the tap. Donald Cowboy Cerrone by submission. Do I want to knock him out? Do I want to submit him? Do I want to just ragdoll his ass all over the mat? I don't know yet. See how I feel when I show up on Saturday, but I have a feeling it's going to be ragdoll, make a point, and head kick his ass. Oh, huge shot by Cerrone. Donald Cerrone does it again. You suck. So I'm going to take you down. I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to let you up. I'm going to head kick you. I'm more in tune to it now and realizing how everything is mostly about mental strength 
and uh, my mind has been getting stronger. I came in with a strong mind, but there's been ups and downs. This this sport will do that to you. This career will take you left and right, up and down. When you think you're great, they'll show you how weak you are. When they think you're weak, you'll show yourself how great you are. So, you know, it's about staying near that greatness and, and always justifying the negative things that try to get thrown at you and just turning it around into a positive thing. Denver, Colorado is home for me. It's Saturday night, we're gonna blow the roof off this place, man. I cannot wait. There's no doubt my man Perry is coming, heavy hitting, trying to take me out early, so it's gonna be the, the fight everyone wants to see, man. Like I said, I would feel criminal if I didn't get there and oblige to everyone's demands and stand and fight with him. So uh, I plan on doing that. Come on in to the PI Trailer Park Cribs episode one. Check this shit out. Kitchen, it's got, fuck, I don't know why you would need a dishwasher, but it's got a dishwasher. Stove, microwave, full-size fridge. That pulls out to a queen um, bed. It's a, They're all air number, sleep number beds. And then uh, I guess they always say this is where the magic happens. This is my <laughs> King bed for me, I love it. TV, and then, uh, you know, fucking bathroom. Bathrooms and closet, I mean, it's, that's it. That's, that's, the, that's the grand tour of the bus, you know? Come in here. <laughs> Doing MTV Cribs. This is fucking cool as shit, man. You should think about getting some more shoes. I do have a lot of shoes. You should probably throw some of them away. They look disgusting. This is like a really nice hotel room that you've On been wheels. staying in for too long and you've gotten all dirty and cluttered. Shit. And so if we could send a couple of those people that you guys cleaning the PI to come in here and just put a put a rinse down on this, that'd be great. Yeah. To it. Thank you very much. Enjoy your monster. Yeah. I did. We bring our bikes because we love riding around. These are like my five sportier bikes I brought. I got nine of them at home. So I'm a walking, talking poster boy for Harley Davidson. This new pretty tequila sunrise, I, I really enjoy riding this one, 110 engine. This fat boy is uh, the original owner. It's my very first Harley I ever bought in 2008. So I've, I've, I've owned it and it's only been mine since then. It's a good train out here. This, this PI is fucking amazing, you know, just all the guys they got and the technology they have in there. Just try and work your diet, work, work everything. But I told Dana I need an RV slip in the back over there with water, sewer kind of closed line out here so I can hang up all my wets and get this a little more a little more white trash for him. I came to the PI to devise a plan to safely get back to 155. And then I got here and they said, no, you're fighting Mike Perry at 170. Stylistically, I mean, we both just want to meet in the middle and it's not going to be like a boring wrestling match. You know, we're both going in there and we're going to throw down. Mike Perry? 170.5. Cowboy Donald Cerrone, 170. Up next, our co main event is at Welterweight. Another Colorado native, Donald Cowboy Cerrone, takes on Platinum Mike Perry. Donald Cowboy Cerrone, Platinum Mike oh, Perry oh, in our co main event yes. at Welterweight. 25 years ago, it began in the Mile High City. A $50,000 prize and eight time honored disciplines in combat sports. Once again, there are no rules. There was the shoot fighter and the Savat expert, the boxer, and the kickboxer. It's over. It's over. And that was how it began. Tonight, to celebrate its 25th anniversary, two of the UFC's greatest throwbacks will throw down. If the fight stays standing, you'll get knocked out. Oh, oh my goodness! 
one of us is going to go down and nobody's seen me finish. We're live from the Mile High City of Denver, Colorado, where tonight we turn back the clock. There's a whole lot going on, but let me talk about what's most important here tonight, and it's their fighting styles. But Mike Perry, this man is a savage, okay? Perry believes he has the edge in what he called mental warfare. Dan Severn's in the house tonight. He's got the jacket on, the UFC Hall of Famer. And of course, a country boy can survive indeed. All right, here's the inimitable fan favorite, Platinum Mike Perry. And Joe, the big storyline for Perry coming in here. Mike came down to the gym. They said he's going to be part of our team. So he just came up here, friended me, and then went behind my back and, and, and rallied for the fight. Great John Jones told me was that I needed to do what I needed to do for me. So what's he going to say? He's got more fight night bonuses than I got fights? Good for him. This is a stupid matchup for him. I don't know what he's thinking, but the only chance he has is to try and swarm me and hit me with a big shot. This time ready. Donald Cowboy Cerrone by submission. Head kick is taking Cowboy over 10 years to get to this point in his career. But I am here now. You're weak. You don't even deserve to be in the octagon with me. Sit the down. The type of guy that Mike Perry is lives for this moment. But he's an intimidating guy. I mean, I wasn't all that intimidated. But that's his game. He wants to get in your head. He wants you fired up. He wants you to fight that fire fight. ready to get back in there and get back on those winning ways and do his thing. And he is back in there. Zeroni stands three inches taller. He has a two-inch reach advantage. Platinum Mike Perry! Side leg kick there from Cerrone. Really? He don't want none. This is Cowboy's 46th professional MMA fight, his 29th UFC appearance. Boy, a shot from Cerrone. And I think it's interesting. I think Cowboy really expected a lot of pressure from Mike Perry going for the takedown. Cowboy's triangle and armbar game is second to none, but he's looking to reverse it. Ends up on top. Giving up his back. Perry gives his back and immediately trying for that left leg in. Got to get his arm free. Cowboy's got it trapped right now. That's a terrible spot. He pops out. He's got to watch his arm. Arm bar. Wow, and Cerrone now trying to lock up the arm. That's it. 15 seconds. He can't. Oh, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And he wants his son in there. Danger is his middle name. Even if you pick him up, he had already had it latched on. Perry did everything he could to try to fight out. Yeah, it's clear. It's clear right on the butt. Tapped yeah. right on Cowboy. Donald Cowboy Cerrone! They say it on the thing, most wins in UFC history, baby! And most finishes in UFC history. Let's hear for your winner! Cerrone, ladies and gentlemen.